The Nanchang Q5, whose NATO reporting name is Fantan, is regarded as the first mass-produced Chinese-designed combat aircraft, although it is based on the MiG-19. This warbird has a limited combat carrier, but symbolizes a milestone in the Chinese military aviation industry. Today we're investigating the Q5, a journey from farming to a gambling game. The Q5's NATO reporting name Fantan refers to a Chinese gambling game. Westerners preferred such names during the first Cold War to belittle the Eastern Bloc's aircraft. Yet Fantan was indeed suited to the Q5. Once a leading country in technology, wealth and military power, China could not resist the colonial powers of the West during the 19th century. Even newly modernized Japan became an existential threat to the cradle of Asiatic civilization. To crown it all, the internal conflicts depleted China. After a century of turmoil, the communists, led by Mao Zedong, established control over the land and a relative stabilization era began. Naturally, the USSR was the most essential supporter of the newly founded People's Republic of China. In the early 1950s, the People's Liberation Army Air Force, shortly PLAAF, received hundreds of MiG-15s. The local designation of the aircraft was J-2. Stalin also sent many Mikoyan Gravich engineers and specialists to China, where they assisted in creating the modern Chinese military aviation industry. The initial plan was to build the MiG-15s in China. However, Beijing later decided to produce the more advanced MiG-17 instead and manufactured only the two-seat version of the MiG-15 as JJ-2. The PLAAF designated Soviet-built MiG-17s as J-4, so the locally produced variant was named J-5. In 1958, Shenyang Aircraft Corporation began manufacturing a more advanced MiG-19 under license, whose NATO reporting name is Farmer. The PLAAF designation for this jet was J-6. As soon as the production of the J-6 began, China felt ready to move on the next level. It was the right time to initiate indigenous design efforts. In August 1958, the PLAAF requested the development of a jet attack aircraft for close air support. Shenyang Aircraft Corporation immediately began the design work based on the J-6. Other local aviation institutes also participated in the project. Later, Beijing transferred the program to Nanchang Aircraft Manufacturing Corporation, today's Honda Aviation Industry Group Limited. As mentioned, the new combat jet, the Q-5, was based on the J-6. However, it featured longer fuselage and area rule to reduce transonic drag. The Chinese engineers moved air intakes to the fuselage sides to make space for a planned target radar in the nose. However, the initial production variants would not be fitted with such equipment. Still, this layout improved the forward-downward view from the cockpit. The Q5 also had new wings with a greater area and reduced sweep. Besides, the aircraft featured a 4-meter-long internal weapons bay. Based on these changes, Western experts initially thought China tried to create a Mach 2 fighter variant of the MiG-19. The first prototype was completed in 1961, but China's economic situation and political instability caused severe delays. Nevertheless, the aircraft made its maiden flight on June 4, 1965. The serial production of the Q-5 began in 1969, when the border problems between China and the USSR turned into an armed conflict. Therefore, in 1970, the first operational aircraft were delivered to the air regiments in the northern region near the Soviet border. China produced approximately 1,300 Q-5s. In the 1980s, the export variant of the aircraft, the A-5, found customers. This success was not surprising. The Q-5 was a low-cost, simple and reliable combat aircraft and in the early 1980s, guided air-to-ground munitions were still new. Only a few air forces could afford such expensive and still incompetent weapons. Since it was based on the MiG-19, the Q-5 inherited its ancestors' shortcomings, such as high fuel consumption, a short fuselage life, short overhaul intervals, and frequent maintenance. The Chinese-made engines also required overhauls frequently. On the other hand, the jet was considerably low-cost and extremely robust. Its flight characteristics were smooth at low altitudes which was a very important feature for a ground attack aircraft. In the 1970s, this type of combat jet still had a place in the air forces. 
For example, the US A4 Skyhawk, the Anglo-French Jaguar, the Japanese F1, and the Romanian Yugoslavian IAR-93 J-22 were considered competent warbirds. The old metal fuselage has two joint parts and the rear can be removed to access the engines. The WP-6 jet engine is the licensed production version of the Soviet Tumansky RD-9 used on the MiG-19. The pressurized and air-conditioned cockpit is partially fitted with bulletproof armor. The canopy glazing provides forward-downward visibility at an angle of 13.5 degrees. The pilot is seated in an ejection seat, allowing to rescue at speeds between 250 and 850 km per hour. The cantilever all-metal wings are multi-spar with a sweep angle of 52.5 degrees along the quarter cord line and a 4-degree anhedral from the roots. Hydraulically actuated ailerons and gauge flaps provide a shorter takeoff distance for any given load a shorter distance to achieve a specific height and a lower takeoff speed. The Q5 can take off from a distance of 1,250 meters with a full load. It requires a 1,060 meter airstrip for landing. The initial production version has a weapon bay that can hold either one 500 kg bomb or two 250 kg bombs. It also features six pylons. Even though its prototype was equipped with two 30mm cannons installed on both sides of the nose, the production variants have two 23mm Type 23 one guns with 100 rounds each mounted in the wing roots. This gun is a Chinese copy of the Soviet NR-23. China modified a small number of Q5s to carry nuclear bombs, designating this variant as the Q5 Chia. The People's Liberation Army Naval Air Force also operated a specialized torpedo bomber Q-5 variant known as the Q-5E. Subsequently, China developed maritime strike versions of the aircraft equipped with the YJ-8 and YJ-81 anti-ship missiles. However, these projects were ultimately terminated due to budget issues and the acquisition of the JH-7s. The Q-5-1 version lacked a weapon bay but had four under-fuselage hardpoints. This change also increased the fuselage fuel tank capacity, thereby extending the combat radius. The aircraft featured an improved version of the WP-6 engine and better communication equipment. It was also fitted with the indigenous Type 79Y4 laser rangefinder. Some People's Liberation Army Naval Air Force Q-51s were modified to carry two torpedoes or YJ-8 anti-ship missiles. These aircraft were equipped with a Doppler slip angle and drift meter. However, due to their poor flight characteristics and small combat radius, they were quickly withdrawn from service. The Q-51A, also known as the Q-5B, had a new optical gunnery and bombing site, two additional underwing pylons, a radar warning receiver, flare dispensers, and increased capacity fuel tanks with a pressure fueling system. This variant was exported to North Korea as the A-5. The Q-52, also known as the Q-5C, had an improved omnidirectional radar warning system. Later, the aircraft was fitted with the Type 205 Pulse Doppler navigation radar. Sudan acquired its modified variant called A-52A. The Q-53 had 10 pylons and could carry R-550 Magic or AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles. Myanmar preferred its export version A-53K. In the 1980s, China began developing some Q5 variants with Western avionics. However, these projects were discontinued due to international sanctions after the 1989 Tiananmen Square incident. During the 1996 Taiwan Strait Crisis, China introduced the Q5D variant as an interim solution. This version was a modified Q5C with the new DG-1 integrated Doppler navigation GPS ALR-1 laser rangefinder marked Target Seeker and QHK-10 head-up display. The Q-5E had a new pylon suitable for laser-guided bombs. However, the aircraft could not carry a laser pod due to weight limitations. So, China also developed the Q-5F laser designator pod carrier version. The Q-5G was essentially a modified Q-5E featuring a belly conformal fuel tank to extend the combat radius. Since the Q-5 was based on the J-6, pilot training had been carried out by two-seater JJ-6. Later, Nanchang Aircraft Manufacturing Corporation developed the two-seater JQ-5J, which could also be used for forward air control missions like the OA-10A. The Q-5L was an upgraded Q-5C variant with low-light-level television and forward-looking infrared cameras. 
The aircraft also had a head-up display, GPS RX, INS, Takan, and chaff flare dispensers. It could carry the locally developed LS500J laser-guided glide bombs. The Q5L could optionally be fitted with a belly conformal fuel tank. The Q5M had similar features to the Q5L, but it utilized the navigation system of the Q5D. China also developed several Q5-based testbed aircraft for composite material and various electronic trials. The A53, also known as the A5C, was the export version developed for the Pakistan Air Force, featuring Western equipment such as Rockwell Collins-made flight instrumentation and Martin Baker-made ejection seats. It could carry French snap rockets, drone dial anti-runway penetration bombs, an R550 Magic or US AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles. Myanmar and Sudan still operate the A5. Bangladesh, China, North Korea and Pakistan have retired the aircraft. The single-seat Q53 variant has a length of 16.26 meters, a wingspan of 9.7 meters, a height of 4.52 meters and a wing area of 27.95 square meters. The aircraft's empty and maximum takeoff weights are 6,494 and 12,000 kilograms, respectively. Two 36.78 kN WP68 turbojet engines provide a top speed of Mach 1.12. The Q53 has a range of 2,000 km. Its combat radius is 600 km. Its service ceiling is 15,850 meters, in other words, 52,000 feet. The aircraft has two 23mm Type 23 one cannons and 10 hardpoints with a 2,000 kg weapon capacity. Depending on the model, the Q5 can carry PL2, PL5, PL7, R550 Magic or AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles, bombs and rocket pods. China never used its Q5s in combat, yet this aircraft struck its homeland. In March 2015, some Myanmar Air Force A53Ks accidentally dropped bombs on a Chinese village while conducting a strike mission against armed resistance groups in the Kokang region. After this incident, China deployed HQ-12 air defense missile batteries to the border to protect itself from its own child. One Myanmarese A53K crashed to the ground during another attack mission against rebel groups. The Sudanese Air Force has used its A52As during the Sudanese Civil War. The Q5 program was indeed a gamble for China, which rolled the dice and won through beginner's luck. So Fantan was a well-matched name for it. The later Chinese combat jet design programs were not as successful as the Q5 until the 1990s. This aircraft can be regarded as ground zero for the current Chinese aviation industry. Even though its combat career is not glamorous, the Q5 is a legend in many respects. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.